Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Screwball Toy Hunts back here with another Marvel Legends discussion for you guys. And today, we're going to be going over the Giant Man HasLab. Of course, you guys can see on screen right here. We're going to go through all the images. We're going to go through the price. We're going to go through how tall. We're going to go through the stretch goals. And we're going to see if this will actually get funded. So... Uh, I didn't actually expect them to, to put this on here today, but I guess, you know, it's Friday. I, I assumed I, I'm pretty dumb for not thinking that way. But uh, before we get into that, thank you guys so much. Let's try for 100 likes on this video. That would be awesome if you guys can do that for me. 100 likes on this video. Uh, and we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away a Marvel Legend. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications, and comment your favorite memory with a Marvel Legend. It could be as a kid be now it could be a, a toy biz legend it could be a hasbro legend it don't matter your, your favorite mem your favorite memory of marvel legends i'll pick the next winner at 3,000 subscribers so let's get into it all right let's get into it so right here as soon as you load up hasbropulse.com as soon as you load up hasbropulse.com you see this big gigantic banner a giant addition to marvel legends pim labs partners with hasbro or HasLab, for the biggest superhero to hit the Marvel Legends series, Giant Man. Well, I will say that this image is pretty cool. And it looks like there is a PIM logo underneath his boot, like right here. I mean, for some reason, the freaking image gets like darker when I, whatever. Let's just hit it. Let's just hit it. So, here we go. So, here we got PIM slash has labs they're trying to like make this a collab i guess if that's what you want to call it right so here we got all right so now i will say this video is going up on saturday i am recording this video an hour and a half after they announced it and the backing has started they're already at almost 1500 people okay i mean okay that's uh pretty big uh because of course you know the target is only ten thousand. So they're essentially 15% of the way there already. With 45 days left, I could honestly see this being funded in the next 10 days. Now, I don't know how the next couple days will go. Of course, the weekend, and it's it's payday for a lot of people. Uh, we will see. Uh, but 15% out of 100%, essentially, out of 10,000 is already done. We have 45 days left. And it just started 90 minutes ago. Now... By the time this video goes live, uh, a day from today, because of course I'm, it's twelve thirty one on Friday right now, so uh, there's still twenty four hours till this video goes live. Um, we're gonna be making progress, I think. We'll definitely be making progress, I think. So, uh, let's see. Let's go through these images here, man. So we got here. We got a smiling uh, giant man, Hank Pym. This is not Scott Lang. This is Hank Pym. So if he got that Target exclusive, uh, like a lot of people did, I mean. You could technically have them both on the same shelf. It don't matter. Uh, let's see here. We got the back. We got him stomping down, which I like how they're showing you that he could stand on one foot. Now, whether or not he could actually do that when you get him, that's a whole different story. We got a nice fighting pose right there. That's probably like one of the poses that I would probably have him in. We got... A kind of stoic kind of pose, like a like a picture pose of some sort. We got a close up of the face. Interesting. A side view, I guess, of his like straps. I don't even know what we call those, like that that Y shape uh, vest, if you want to call it that. And I do want to point out here. I do want to point out every single joint on his fingers are articulated which i think we will see here i think in a couple images so here we got a comparison between a normal marvel legend in that i believe that is what marvel legend is that i believe that's the captain america 20th hasbro i think or 20 years of marvel legends i think that's what that is i don't know it looks like it anyways not the shield though that shield different uh but it shows he is 24 inches tall, so that's two foot, um, compared to a six inch Marvel Legends. So there's for a size comparison. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, so you will see here, 
every single joint is articulated. So, you know, the, the base of your pinky, like the the top, and then like the, the, the middle of your pinky, which is kind of, I mean, it's kind of realistic, but kind of not. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still dealing with a cold here a little bit. Um, kind of realistic, but kind of not. I mean, yeah, uh, for like a pinky finger, that, that's, I mean, some people, I guess, are more, I guess, flexible than others, but I mean, A, it's cool nonetheless. Um, they are deeming this as 91 points of articulation. We even have butterfly joints on the thumb which is interesting uh how, how, did we ever see that before we, we might have seen that before i don't know i think galactus may have had that which is pretty cool we got okay then they're showing off what he could do he's thanos snapping for some reason uh and then we got here are the boots uh we got toe articulation uh looks like and that is it on that so we got that we got more boot pictures we got interchangeable heads, so we have, it looks like we have three different heads for for Ant-Man here, along with the stretch goals. We'll go over the stretch goals here in a little bit, but we got a smiling head, a stoic head, and a angry head. Okay, so that's, uh, that's good. That fits all the uh, requirements on my end. Here we got, I guess, the shading. I will say, I will say this. The shading detail, like on his biceps and his pecs and his like abs, like you could see it. It's it's pretty good. Like I don't know if, if that's just the photo. Like this is just a render, by the way. This is not like as far as I as far as I know. This could be an official like view of the figure. I think this is just a mock up though. But this is pretty good. Like the belt. Look at the shading on the belt. Like in between each belt buckle or whatever that is. You could see like shading on sides of the squares, which is really cool as well. So, and you could see individual like lines on his like on his uh, waistline, like on the suit itself. You could kind of see it. That's I mean they they went all in with this one. I will say that. I looked at the you know the vest here, like that Y shaped vest. You could see the stitch lines. I don't know what material this is gonna be. I mean I haven't watched the uh, the video reveal yet. I just saw it on Twitter. Um, you could even see like stitch lines which is good like they are really paying attention to detail in this one uh here we got a side view again look at that detail i mean this is just a render but still i mean it's probably gonna look somewhat similar to this we got a uh, smiling face angry face side view uh did we already go over these i think we did no we didn't and then here's a cool pose uh, I, I could see a lot of people using this pose. I could definitely see I could definitely see people um, using this pose as their main uh, portrait of this character. And uh, that is it. And then we go down here to the stretch goals. Let's see here. Uh, we got some images here. Some yada yada yada. More images. Here we go. All right. So the stretch goals. We got a zombie head and a scroll head so here are two close-ups of these said uh back uh backing stretch goals so twelve thousand to get the zombie and fourteen thousand to get the scroll so ultimately do i think this will get funded now based off of an hour and a half they're already at 1500 i think this is absolutely going to be funded but here's the thing they teased two more additional tiers. I would have done this completely different, right? Now, here's what I would have done. I would have made these two heads one tier instead of two, right? And then, this is the biggest missed opportunity I think they could have capitalized on, in my opinion. I think they could have made a comic-accurate wasp because it's been a very, very, very long time since we have seen a Wasp comic accurate definitive figure. I think it's been what, since like 2018, 2019, that retro card? They could have most certainly used that as a stretch goal. Along with, this is a little bit of a creative idea, some displayable ants. If you guys are not familiar with what I'm talking about, of course, Hank Pym is the leader of ants. He can control ants to his to his well-being he could do whatever he wants them right if you guys remember ant-man and the wasp 
uh, Hank Pym used ants to defeat Kang by controlling their minds. I think we should get those type of ants. Like, I think that would be awesome if we can get some of those. Like, like maybe like three of them. Like, they only they don't got to be huge. You know, displayable ants. You know, displayable ants that fit in line with like a, a six-inch figure or something like that. I think that would have been a nice stretch goal. So, I would have had these two at 12,000. And I would have had the... Uh, wasp and the ants as 14,000. That's, I think, would have done it. Now, this this will get funded. I mean, there's 45 days left, 1,500 people already. They only need 10,000 to get this made. And then the other two things are just bonuses. So they did they did tease a, a two, three, additional three and four tier. So I don't know what it's going to be. I would hope it would be a figure. A lot of people were complaining about how they could have used like another figure in this box, like maybe a villain of some sort. I, 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 I could agree, but $200, um, you can't beat it. I mean, again, the big question a lot of people are, are going to have with, with this figure is, is space. Space in action figures and things like that is, is a big priority, right? And this guy is is two feet tall. So he's about this big, right? So it is not going to fit on your average Billy bookshelf or, or Detolf. It's not. You're going to have to put him on the top or like to the side, like on the ground or something, or have him in that one photo, like like kneeling or something to fit in there. I, I'd have to imagine he'd fit in there kneeling. Um, but he he's big. Like he is definitely big. <coughs> I could see people not buying this for that reason, but ultimately I do think this will be funded. Will I buy it? Yes, I will fund it. I am, here's what my approach is. I am always a guy, like I've funded multiple WWE projects. I've funded multiple Marvel projects and Star Wars projects even. Um, I wait until like the very end. I know it's kind of crappy to do, uh, but I like to see the stretch goals. Like I'm very interested to see what these, Stretch goals three and four are they? They teased them. They didn't reveal them. They should have revealed them. If I'm gonna be honest, I think they should absolutely should have revealed them. Um, but this will get made uh, compared to the last one. I think what they wanted to do was they wanted like a slam dunk success. And based off of the last one they tried in the Ghost Rider and then with the car, um, obviously that failed misbr uh, miserably. So they said, well. Let's try for a slam dunk right here. And we got a comic accurate definitive Hank Pym giant man figure. So that is pretty much it for you guys today. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you guys going to fund it? Have you already funded it? Like I said, it's only an hour and a half after they revealed it. And it's already at 1500 So, I mean, unless it takes a drastic turn for the worst, I can't see how this don't get funded. Now, are we going to get to the stretch goals? I would like to think so. I mean, we have 45 days. That's a that's a month and a half. That is a lot of time. That's a lot, a lot of time. So I do think ultimately we will get the stretch goals as well. Now, as for tiers three and four, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I truly don't know. I would like to get a figure out of one of those tiers. I think that would work. And I don't know what the other tier would be. I, I truly don't know. More face sculpts. But at that point, like how many do you need? You already have three with the base Ant-Man, and you're going to get two more with the stretch goals. You're going to have five. Are you going to add two more onto that with uh, the bonus tiers? I don't know. So, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.